Did you ever look for a way to automate the download of photos from your digital camera? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. In this video, we'll look at a slightly more complex workflow than in the last example. It is attended RPA with the steps of the workflow displayed on the Stream Deck. It is a simple photo workflow for raw images. After the video, you will be able to apply the idea to your own applications, like in the office domain, for example. I'll first show you how it works. Then we'll peek under the hood. So let's go to the computer. So let's see how this goes. Um, I have reserved a special page for this workflow, so here we can access the workflow. And um, I have my readme here, the documentation, and then I have the five different steps. So if I press the readme, I get um, instructions here and there's a file telling me precondition before starting, create a new directory for your photo download and name it appropriately. So I've done this already. Um, I have created a temp directory here on my C drive. Insert the SD card from the camera. So I've done that. So here we can see the top level of the SD card and effectively um, it is recognizing this by looking at SD card and so it would recognize all SD cards no matter what capacity they have. The workflow consists of five tasks. Download the files, um, rename the files according to the date taken, put copyright metadata in the files, then uh, create JPEG from all raw files and then transfer the JPEG files to a NAS. And that's all there is to it. So Let's see how this works. So we are ready to go. The first step is download the files. So we download the files from the SD card and now we have it in the temp directory and they are called A66 something ARW. And the next step is to rename the files so that they have a date timestamp in the file name. So that's done. And um, I can see here there is a command window open that did have this um, command here. So this was done with the EXIF tool. And um, the next step is to do all the metadata. So I input now metadata into the file um, and uh, into the three files and then I will go on this button and I will start raw therapy and um, raw therapy will create JPEGs so on the left hand side we can see that for every raw file we have a JPEG now and then finally the last step is the upload button we upload the files to our network attached storage with an FTP command and if everything goes well they should appear here and here they are in our NAS. Now that we know how it looks when the workflow is operated we will take a look under the hood and see how it was programmed. We have our Stream Deck software open here and um, so let's first look at the readme. This is very simple. It's just opening a text file that's somewhere on the computer. Um, then we have the download button here. Um, it contains eight actions. This is again a multi-action here. Open SD card, delay, select all files, copy them, and then another delay go back to the initial folder. So this is Alt tab. And so this is why it's important that you have started this with the right folder open and having the focus. Otherwise, this doesn't work really. And um, so the next step is rename the files. So again, multi-action, um, go to File Explorer address bar and then open the command in the current folder and then rename the files 
using the exif tool and so you can see here is the exif command that is necessary for renaming the files. Then apply metadata. Again, this is done directly with one line in the exif tool. And then the next part is um, starting raw therapy in batch mode and um, doing this uh, conversion from uh, from RAW to JPEG. And if you want to do this manually here, of course, you can skip this, this step and then you can open RAW therapy or whatever program you have and do um, each photo one by one, do color corrections, etc. And um, then the last step is upload this to the NAS and there are 12 actions. I won't go into detail here because there are some passwords in there. And that's it. Easy, isn't it? I know it's not elegant and very primitive. There is no error handling whatsoever. There are no variables. Everything is hard-coded, even the names of the directories. I spent about two hours developing and testing it. But why should I spend more time? This is so individual and I don't see any way of making it directly usable for anyone else. That would be a completely different project. I hope you find this useful nevertheless. I would be happy to hear from you in the comments.